Hey everybody, this is Mr. Bullock and this uh, geometry lesson is on inscribed angles. So here we go. Uh, inscribed angles is an angle uh, whose vertex is on the circle. So here's an inscribed angle where the vertex is right there on the circle. Okay. In the last lesson we talked about uh, central angles and that's where it comes out from the center right here. Uh, so this angle A, you can call it angle A or angle B, A, C or even angle C, A, B. Uh, that's called an inscribed angle. All right, and then uh, a couple of theorems. An inscribed angle is always half the intercepted arc. So, for example, um, if that inscribed angle, if this arc is 80, then that inscribed angle is half that. It's 40. Okay, watch this. Uh, well, let me keep going. Inscribed angles intercept, intercepting the same arc or congruent arcs are congruent to each other. What a mouthful right there. This is what it says right here. See how both those angles intercept uh, the blue angle? See how the blue angle intercepts the 80 degree arc out here? So it's 40. And the purple angle is also intercepting uh, the 80 degree angle. So it's also 40. So these 40s are congruent to each other because they're, they're intercepting that same 80 degree angle or arc out there. Okay, look, there's another one. That's intercepting that same 80. So it's 40. That green guy is 40. All right, so um, what this says is, is uh, since uh, this angle, this black angle, angle uh, A right here, is intercepting arc BC, and this blue angle right here is also intercepting arc BC, then they got to be congruent to each other because they're both intercepting arc BC. Okay? So inscribed angles intercepting the same arc are congruent to each other. <clears throat> Okay, inscribed angles intercepting a semicircle are right angles. So there's a, a semicircle, a diameter right there, and notice uh, it's always 180 down there. Um, on a semicircle, it's 180, so half of that's got to be 90, so it makes it a right angle right there, and it looks like a right angle. Well, look at this. There's another one. There's another right angle intercepting the semicircle. There's another right angle. It's intercepting the semicircle, and if you look at them, they do look like right angles right there. There's another one. Okay, I can keep doing that. Okay, if a quadrilateral, this is another theorem, is inscribed in a circle, then the opposite angles are supplementary. Supplementary means they add up to 180, and I have a couple examples coming up, okay? So um, here's a picture right here. Okay, quadrilateral means four sides inscribed in this circle, so in this angle and this angle go straight across, they add up to 180, and then B and D also add up to 180. That's what supplementary means, okay? They add up to 180, all right? So um, that's what that says right there. Okay, so here we go. Here's to try an example. Find uh, the measure of arc DT given, uh, or I'm sorry, and the angle DRT given that this little angle is 52 degrees. All right, so if that's 52 degrees, you see that intercepting this arc out here? Okay, if that's 52 degrees, it's half that intercepted arc. So that means that that arc out there is 104. Okay, so um, uh, look at that angle right there. That red angle is also intercepting that 104, so it's going to be half of that. So angle uh, uh, DRT is 52 degrees. Okay, uh, and then here's another uh, figure right here. In this figure, angle I is 92, IL is 124. And uh, so I have a bunch of questions over here. Is it a semicircle? Is SIL? Is SIL a semicircle? Uh, find the measure of angle S, the measure of angle arc SIL, arc IS, and the measure of angle L. Okay, so um, let's put those numbers in there. There's 92 degrees. Okay, that's an inscribed angle. That means that's 184 degrees. Well, if that's 184 degrees, that's not a diameter, so there's no way that's a semicircle. Okay. Um, and then so uh, uh, and then they gave me this 124 that was part of the given right there okay now check out this inscribed angle it's intercepting that arc see that blue angle right there it's intercepting that 124 so take half of that and that'll give me angle s okay so angle s is 62 degrees all right and then uh, you know a triangle adds up to 180 right here so if I add these two guys up over here I get 154 so if I take 154 away from 180 I get uh, 26, so this angle must be 26 right there. Okay, and if that's 26 right there, uh, and I don't know why I didn't put that until the very end, that's 26 down there. Okay, so if that's 26, look at that red angle, it's intercepting this arc. So if that red angle is half of this, so double it, that's going to get me that arc out there, out there to be 52 degrees. Okay, so that's arc IS. 
And then it says find SIL. So I'm just going to do my arc addition postulate, 52 plus 24. SIL is 52 plus 24, and, or 124, sorry. And I get 176, okay? And then there's that 26. All right, okay. Here's a, a section E, find uh, X and Y. Okay, here we have a quadrilateral inscribed in a circle. Remember, uh, opposite angles are supplementary, or they add up to 180, so I'm going to add those up to 180. And similarly, um, those guys add up to 180 as well. So uh, when I uh, add those together, I got 38Y equals 180. When I add those together, I get 12X equals 180. I'm going to divide by 38 and divide by 12. And I, I got a decimal on that. I must have made a mistake when I made this problem up. But still, you can still do the math, and you get Y equals 4.74. That's okay. Uh, your books do decimals also, and then x equals 15. Okay, let's try one more. All right, uh, given this uh, circle right here, angle x is uh, 130, and it says uh, these chords are congruent. If these two chords are congruent, you guys, there's a theorem in geometry that these two arcs right here, this arc and this arc, are going to be congruent to each other. All right, so given all this stuff, find the measure of the following right here. Okay, let's put those numbers in there. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna extend 130, okay? Uh, whoops, I didn't do so. What did I do? Where did I get that 50 from? Angle Z is 50. Oh, uh, I forgot to um, uh, I forgot to uh, okay because these guys are sorry I was thinking of something else. These guys are supplementary right here, and similarly these guys are supplementary, so they add up to 180. I was thinking about the inscribed angles and got sidetracked. All right, so they're uh, 180, so we'll go straight across and, and take uh, 180 minus 30 gives me that 50, and 180 minus this 100 gives me that 80 right there. You guys follow with me? You guys with me now? All right, and then uh, that's what I was thinking of with that little guy right there. All right, so if that's 50 right there, then that, that arc up on top is going to be 100 because that 50 is half of that right there. All right, so if that's 100, then, there, um, uh, then I know I have, let me go backwards here. If that's 100 right there, you know a whole circle is 360. So if that's 100, then I have 260 left. And since these two chords are congruent, then these two arcs right here are congruent. So 260 divided by 2 gives me each one of those guys must be 130 right there. All right, and then... Uh, and then what I did is I did this little trick right here. I extended this angle, and you could have done it with any of the angles. I just extended this angle right here. Okay, that angle, which is 100 degrees, that tells me that that arc on the outside is going to be 200 degrees. All right, and if this is 130 right here, then the leftover piece from here to here must be the rest of the one, or the 200. So 200 minus 30 gives me uh, 70. 